I am very happy as your bishop, that's the kind of chief pastor of the diocese, to talk a little bit with you, the young people of the diocese, about the joy of sharing. Everybody expects priests and deacons and sisters and bishops to talk about Jesus. But in a very real sense, you young people have a vocation to share your faith. That doesn't mean so much by words. It means by showing. If there is a new kid in your school feeling strange, unwelcome, Christians should reach out and say, hello, welcome. Do you want to sit at this table for lunch? If it means you have an aunt in a nursing home or a grandpa or grandma at home kind of lonely, it means you are happy to go there and visit. It would mean so much to them. And I want to tell you a secret. You will find it is a blessing in your life to do good to other people. And by showing your faith in action, sometimes by the littlest things, you truly are bringing the Lord Jesus Christ to the hearts of the people you meet. I would like to say a special word of encouragement to the seventh graders and eighth graders. You are the leaders in your school. A lot of little folks are watching you and you can either be there for good or for bad. So you have a responsibility. There are many service projects that the older kids in school can be a part of. And then the younger kids, just starting out in grammar school, will follow your good example. And you will find out yourself. It is a wonderful thing to tutor the young, to be there for them, to teach them by everything you say and especially everything you do. I recently heard a wonderful story that came from the Quad Cities. It was about a family where the younger kids had no winter jackets. They had no sweaters. And some folks in our parishes that knew about it arranged to collect sweaters and jackets so they could be warm going to school. Now, if you have a jacket, you might have to work on thinking what it would feel like to be that cold, to be that poor, and to learn, even at the early years of your life, sympathy for your neighbor. We are all blessed in so many ways, but to notice the needs of others and to feel for them is one of the real steps of growing up. And something I have to say is a task not only when you're young, but when you're an adult, to keep noticing the needs of others and then making a difference. I hope all our young people, including grammar school students, are willing to make that difference, to give a little so that other people's lives are made better and so that you and me grow in the habit of sacrificing for our neighbor. And I want to assure you, God will bless you for it. God will make your lives fuller and happier. One of the things I get to do as your bishop that I know really works is to pray for you and for the needs of all those folks that we encounter. If you become young people who pray, and that means just talking to God, listening to God, saying the things that make you happy to God, bringing your troubles to God, those prayers change everything. If you get in the habit of praying and blessing when you're young, you'll be praying and blessing and happy even when you're old. And I would right now like to pray for all of you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and make you happy in this life and in the world that is to come.